Welcome to your free video lesson from Teach You Comp Incorporated. Be sure to check out your exclusive discount offer at the end of your free lesson. So when you want to add animation to the presentation, you can do that through the custom animation task pane. You can use the drop down at the top of the task pane and then choose custom animation from the drop down menu to view it. You can also choose slideshow custom animation from the menu bar to view it as well. To animate an object, first select the object to which you'd like to apply animation. Then click the Add Effect button, which displays a drop-down list of some common types of animation effects. They're grouped by topic, like entrance animations, emphasis animations, exit animations, or motion paths. And when you roll your mouse pointer over any one of these groupings, a side menu will appear listing a few of the most common types of animations within that category. You can select any one of the, these ones that are listed, or you can choose More Effects, which shows all the available effects in that category. And then you select the one that you'd like, and click OK. Or if you select it from the menu, you just simply click on the name of the one you'd like to apply. You can also modify the selected animation effect in the Modify Animation Name section. So for example down here we have Modify and then Boomerang, the one that we just applied. The first property you can set is the Start property, which determines when the animation for that object should start. Use the drop down to select either On Click with the previous animation or so many seconds after the previous animation. Then you can set the direction that that particular animation would take, if applicable. So in this case, the boomerang has no particular direction, but if you chose an animation effect like, say, fly in, it would need to know in which direction you want it to fly in from, like top, bottom, left, or right. And you would just choose it from the drop down that's currently grayed out. After that, you can choose the speed of the drop down, once again, if available. And it could go slow, very slow, medium, fast, or very fast. As you add animation to the object, the object appears in the slide with a little number next to it. And that indicates the order of the animation, starting with one. So you'll see the animation appear in the list down at the bottom of the animation task pane. And as you add more effects, it continues giving them higher and higher numbers. So now we're going to do a fly-in on another selected slide object. Notice this one has the direction drop-down available to it. And also the speed. It then appears as number two in this animation order section. Note that if you hold your mouse pointer over the animation for a second, it will actually show you its properties. If you want to delete an animation that you've applied, click on it in the animation list, and then click the remove button at the top of the animation task pane. To see a listing of all the available options that you have that you could set for the particular animation, you can select an animation from the section of animations listed down below. And you may click the drop down that appears and choose effect options. Or you could simply right click on it and choose effect options. In the effect options dialog box, you can set any additional options for the selected effect. There's typically two or three tabs in this dialog box and they are on effect, timing, and optionally text animation. You select the tab to view the options that you can set on each one. So on the Effect tab, if I would like sound to a play with this animation, I could choose that. I could also choose its after animation appearance and how I would like to animate text if text is selected. On the Timing tab, you can choose when it should start. And if there's a delay, how many seconds should it wait? You can also set the speed of the animation and whether or not it should repeat. 
and if so, how many times? On the text animation, you can choose how you want to group text if you're animating text. So as one object, all paragraphs at once, or by first level paragraphs, which is nice for bullet points. So each bullet point is all in individually animated. Once you have any of the options set that you'd like, you just click OK. If you have questions about what a particular setting is for, you can look it up in the help file. Notice that when you click the drop down on a particular animation effect, if you wanted to just jump to, say, the timing section, you could click timing and it brings up that particular tab in the animation effects dialog box. So when you've set your animation order, click OK. And notice at the very bottom of the task pane, you can see a button for play that you can click to play the animation sequence in its entirety. You can also click the slideshow button to preview the animation as it would play in the slideshow. Also, if you wanted to turn off the animation preview feature, in the custom animation task pane, you could uncheck auto preview. However, normally that is checked. Now, if you have multiple items to which you've applied animation in the animation effects taskbar, and then you wanted to change the order of those objects, in the animation effects section, you can click on an animation effect, and then click the up and down arrows to change the order of that effect and when it would play within the actual animation sequence. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed your free video lesson from Teach You Comp Incorporated. Like what you see? Pick up your copy of our complete tutorial today and be sure to visit us at www.teachucomp.com slash YouTube for your special bonus offer. Our complete tutorial featuring introductory through advanced material is available on CD-ROM or digital download. You will receive our high quality video lessons plus printable instruction manuals in one easy to use training package. With over two dozen titles to choose from, you'll be sure to find the training you need in Microsoft Office, QuickBooks, Photoshop, and much more. Visit us today!